whose bombshell testimony before court explodes on Muslim spy ring, Debbie shaking like a leaf, the IT staffer scandal that has engulfed House Democrats, including former DNC chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz, will remain in the news for some months. The matter is just that serious and involves so many people that it will take investigators time to sort through it all and figure out all those against whom indictments will be sought. Recall that this surrounds a Pakistani named Imran Awan and some family members who were paid handsomely to serve as IT staffers for Wasserman Schultz and a couple of dozen other House Democrats. While they were very well paid, there is some doubt as to how much work they all did. Some may have done nothing to earn their pay, but worse, they could have leaked confidential in uh, documents to Muslim terrorist organizations. Again, all of this is currently under investigation. In fact, indictments have already been made and the federal courts are taking testimony. In this regard, Hinal V, one of the uh, Mr. Awan's wives, one of his wives, has testified that he is guilty of bank fraud and polygamy and that he had made threats against her person if she shared this information with authorities. Recall that she fled to Pakistan but later returned to the U.S. It's amazing what federal authorities can encourage those who are under indictment themselves to share about others. The indicted husband and wife uh, team of former IT aides to Democratic Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz sat directly across from each other at the defendant's table in federal court Friday in Washington, D.C., but refused to look at each other. Even as they are co-defendants in a U.S. case, Imran Awan's own wife, Inal V, has become the latest person to accuse him of fraud, filing papers against him. In Pakistani court on September 13, records obtained by the Daily Caller News Foundation show. Alvi said Awan threatened the complaint and, uh, complaint and, or whatever of dire consequences if he also threatened to harm the lives of families of the complainant if uh, she intervenes. If he is guilty of the crimes for which he has been indicted, one can understand why Mr. Awan would want people with information about those crimes to keep quiet. Unfortunately for him, his efforts to enforce that silence have only gotten him in, into more trouble. Wasserman Schultz, former chair of the Democratic National Committee and other House Democrats, have vigorously defended Awan, claiming the Capitol Police might be drumming up charges out of Islamophobia. Yeah, take our country down by being politically correct, right? That's a very sad excuse to offer, and it doesn't wash. Arresting someone who happens to be a Muslim does not prove that anyone is an Islamophobe. Uh, assuming such a classification exists, Muslims commit crimes just like members of every other religious group, and if Wasserman Schultz wants to accuse the Capitol Police of Islamophobia, what has she to say about the testimony of Awan's wife? Is she a Muslim herself to be accused of Islamophobia as well? Of course, Wasserman Schultz's comments are absurd and can only cause one to wonder just how innocent she is. News concerning this case will ebb and flow as evidence is discovered and released to the public how far the indictments will go and how many will get caught up in this scandal will remain to be seen. However, don't be surprised to learn that a couple of Democratic members of Congress wind up under indictment or forced to resign. Forced to resign, that would be the least of it. They should be in jail. This is espionage against your country. That's why with these Pakistanis that, they, that she overpaid. Come on, that's espionage. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.